Hey everyone, this is Royal with Paternity University. I appreciate you guys so much for continuously commenting and liking and subscribing. Um, the channel is growing and, and more people are getting access to this great information. So I really, really appreciate you all uh, just engaging in the content. So I want to talk about what your role is as a private DNA agent, right? I'm going to use some interchangeable terms such as private DNA agent or DNA consultant or DNA agency owner. They're all the same thing, okay? They're all the same thing. But I want to talk about what your role is. So the reason why people get paternity testing is to get an answer. That's pretty much it. They want to find out an answer to a question that's been bothering them for some time or it's been bothering for a short time and they just want to get the results. The reasons as to why they get that test can be a myriad of reasons, but generally it's between um, for court purposes or for non-legal purposes. They just want to know that's it. They don't want to do anything in court. They don't want to do anything with child support, child custody, adoption, visitation, any of that stuff. They just want to know. Now, what is your role in this process? So your role is to guide them through the maze of paternity testing because there's not a lot of public information about the difference between legal, non-legal, avuncular, grandparentage, siblingship, paternity, deceased, postmortem, whatever. It's not very much uh, accessible. I mean, there is, but a lot of people have questions. So they're going to call you and your job as a consultant is to guide them through the process to where you can give them the solution and the answer that they need. So that is your job. And so your job is to learn about all the aspects of DNA testing. Like I said, siblingship, avuncular, grandparent, regular paternity, legal, non-legal, prenatal, post-mortem, uh, or sometimes you may not be able to help them at all. There is a chance that you may not be able to help them, but your job is to ask questions and pull information from them to see. Now, what is your? what are you not going to do, okay? <laughs> Your job, you're not judge, jury, executioner, all right? You're not a police officer. You're not a nurse. You're not a doctor. You're not a scientist. Your job, you are the first point of contact that someone sees, someone speaks to in their journey of finding the answer to their paternity question. That is your job. Your job is to be that person to listen, to kind of pull information from and see kind of what they need. Um, and to provide a solution at a fair price and e in an efficient manner while being compassionate, uh, while being customer service oriented, um, and while being just just fair and and efficient in all of your 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 processes. okay? That's what you are. That's what you do. And in Paternity University, I break that down even further with hours and hours and hours of content that you guys can digest. So if you're interested, go to paternityuniversity.com. Uh, book a call with me. You can talk to me directly. You don't talk to anybody else. I don't have a sales team. You talk to me directly and we figure out if this is the right business for you because it's not right for everybody. And we go from there. That was it. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, peace.